on to five play suggestions. So one play I really enjoyed was Wit by Margaret Edson. It's a story about kindness and academic rigor and how they interact with each other, particularly in light of terminal cancer. Um, it's beautiful and, as the title suggests, quite witty. There's a film production of it starring Emma Thompson, who is unbelievably beautiful, even with a shaved head. Another play I really suggest is Art by um, Yasmina Reza. This is a play about mentorship and growing into adulthood and how you can question the opinions and convictions of people whom you trust and care about um, and what that does to relationships. And it's really, really great. It's also about art and postmodernism and there's just three characters in it and it's great. It's short. It's fun. You'll, you'll enjoy it. The Women of Lockerbie by Deborah Brevert is the third play I'm going to suggest. It is a story about kindness and kindness in light of terrorism. And it was written in the 90s, but it seems almost prophetic in some of the things it is saying about how people turn to fear and how people lash out at each other, even those closest to them, in light of great tragedy. It's written in prose and in verse, almost as though it is a Greek tragedy, and it's really, really beautiful. Also, it's pack full of awesome women, so if you're looking for more representations of female friendships or groups of women doing wonderful things together, this is a phenomenal choice. Another great play with female characters is Eurydice by Sarah Rowe. This is a modern interpretation of the myth of Orpheus and Eurydice looking at the story from Eurydice's perspective. It's about life and death and remembering and forgetfulness and one of the things I love best about Sarah Rowell's writing is that she has crazy stage directions or uh, descriptions in the margins. So there are three stones who are three of the characters in the in the play, and they are to be played as though they are nasty children at a birthday party. Or like, it's great. It's such a good play. If you ever have a chance to see it live, go go see it. If you if you don't have that chance, I say definitely read it and read it before and after and again and again because it's beautiful. The last play I'm going to suggest is Arcadia by Tom Stoppard. I really like a lot of Tom Stoppard's plays, but this is one that flips back and forth from the 1800s to the present day in the same location. Well, it's about the past and the future and how they they can feel close together. Even in, in a big house, or there's a tortoise who um, is, is alive in both, in both storylines, um, which I love. It's the same tortoise, because tortoises can be alive in the 1800s and in the present day. Um, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, so those are some suggestions to get you started. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite play or other suggestions for people looking to get into reading plays. If you read any of these plays and enjoyed them if you had to read a play for school but loved it, any of that jazz, let me know in the comments. Thanks so much. Bye!